Okay. And we only lost Steve. Well, actually, no, I think we lost Greg. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of get in a fight with some looters just to get my guys leveled up just a smidgen. Uh, he said to visit us in the tavern. This person looks like... <laughs> like, this person knows what they're about. Yes, keep your distance, by the way. Oh, la, look. Uh, to be fair, I'm right up in their face. I'll leave that be. I think that's a companion, but I don't think I can afford them right now. Splendid work. You've hired enough men to take on the bandits. Now, travelers entering Praven have told us that there is a small group of robbers lurking on the outside of town. I suspect that they are all from the same band, the one that took my brother. Hunt them down and defeat them, and make them disclose the, inf the location of their lair. Oh, I love, why don't you come with us? He is not a man made for fighting. Whereas Lance Thunderjaw here. <laughs> Actually, do you know the way I said earlier that the um, the looters looked like they were just a, pa a pack of junkies? Lance Thunderjaw, he is a man who is down and out. Like, when his family became impoverished, he looks like he just sort of... Well, he took to the heroin a little bit too strong. It's been wrecking his life ever since. Uh, band of robbers. Alright, let's go there. What do you want? I've been looking for you. <laughs> Literally right outside the walls. I spent all of this time looking for where you were. What do you want? I've been looking for you. Tell me where you uh, keep your prisoners and I'll let you go. I love that I opened this up with I've been looking for you even though they were literally hanging out right outside the town walls. I had to do very little searching to actually find these guys. In fact, I had to go further afield to recruit people to help me like fight them than I actually had to travel to find them. Robber, ha! The prisoners are only going free if you pay their ransom. Did you bring any silver? No, but I brought steel. Oh, Lance Thunderjaw is a badass. You encountered a band of robbers. You have seven troops fit for battle against their four. Let's just do it. Ah, the beautiful swaddy and countryside. You can smell the flowers, and soon you can smell the blood. Where are they? Where are my men? Where is every- Oh my god, I charged in the wrong direction. No? No, oh, they're coming with me. I told you guys, I'm not the military commander that I thought I was. I feel like the fight is going to be done before I actually get to it. Hang on guys, my horse can't handle this gentle incline. Ah, oh, they have the highland. Sort of. <laughs> I love Steve up front there, just going for a casual stroll. Like, hang on a minute, we'll get to you. Don't rush it. Make haste, make waste. Swing and miss. No, stop killing my men, you cowards. Oh, getting us with the rocks, are we? Hang on. Ah, there we go. Push him off the cliff, lads! And he's dead. Ah, yeah. <laughs> we crushed these, uh, these practically defenseless, mostly naked, destitute, likely starving, terrified men. We crushed him, we did. So we had no casualties. Except for my dignity a little bit, I miss them a lot. Uh, aye, spare me. Spare my life, let me go, and I'll go far away from here and learn the, uh, an honest trade, and you'll never hear from me again. I'll spare your life, but in exchange, I want information. Either you or your mates kidnapped the brother of a prominent merchant in town. We don't actually know if he's a prominent merchant, we just know that he's a merchant. In fact, if we are calling him prominent, it's because he told us he was prominent, and he is probably an unreliable narrator. Tell me where you're hiding him, and give me your word that you'll stop troubling the people of these parts, and you can go free. I actually wish it gave me the choice, because I would just finish him off. I would, it wouldn't even be a mercy kill, it would just be just regular murder. Oh bless you sir, bless you. We've done the lad no harm. We've been keeping him in our hideout near Asgard. I'll describe the area nearby in detail, so there's no mistaking it. Alright. We'll take all the loot, because if nothing else, we can just sell it on afterwards. And I wonder if we have people ready to be leveled up again. Let's check out our party. None of those guys are ready. 
Okay, so none of them are ready to be upgraded. That's alright. So he said they were just outside Asgard. Pretty sure that cave wasn't there before. That seems like some... I was running around there, in fact. I was... When I was... When I was running away like a coward from the, uh... From the looters. Was it looters? No. It was either looters or else it was forest raiders. They were bad looking dudes, whoever they were, anyway. Alright, we're gonna recruit some volunteers. Got ourselves some farmers. And I might actually hunt down those looters that were just outside. Spread the fear. The fear of the unicorn. Ah, oh, it's getting dark. Hang on, we got him. We got him. We got there we go. Alright, we're gonna charge them. No, they were just going about minding their own business, just innocently looting the innocent people. But my men my men need new clothes, damn it. <laughs> Steve needs a new pair of shoes. I think I can see. Is that them over there? No, that is in fact a tree. Yeah. Now I'm pretty sure the tree is a uh, one of those like trees from the happening. You know that. Uh, pretty sure that tree is racist against humanity. Ah. Go all Ramsey Bolton on them a little bit. Hang on. Ugh. Hang on, just a second, sir. I need you to get into my line of fire. Ah, do you know what? That's fine. That's one. <laughs> Alright, we are all drunk. That I'm reasonably sure. Ow. Damn it! That man's head was made out of steel. I love you, you big bunch of angry rogues. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We definitely took some casualties, didn't we? Oh, we had no casualties. I think we just lost some people. Alright, we got no more. Got no more space. I actually might go and sell some stuff before we go and... Yeah, I might sell some stuff and then it wouldn't hurt to just sleep in Praven until the morning. Let me just check out my party. I just want to see. Can yes, we can upgrade one of them. Upgrade the footman. Upgrade upgrade the skirmisher. Upgrade to a footman. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt. I don't actually know enough about what the troops do because, to be honest with you, the last time I played this and my, do you know my campaign that went absolutely awful? Well, oh, can we kill the farmers? No, we won't. That'd be. That'd be a bit much, a bit excessive. But, um, yeah, the last time I played this, oh, yeah, I didn't realize that you could, uh, that you could actually, hang on, go here, that you could actually, you know, upgrade your men. And I know that sounds stupid. It absolutely does sound stupid because it is stupid because it stands to reason that you'd be able to upgrade your men because that's a big part of the game. I just didn't realize it because I went in horribly underprepared. And, uh, yeah, I took them on a mission that they were just, it should never have happened. It just should not have happened, and uh, yet it did. All right, we're gonna sleep for the night. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna go rescue this guy's brother. And we will leave Praven. We're gonna go rescue this guy's brother, and then I might leave it at that. Well, actually, no. Let's go to the kidnappers' hideout anyway first. Let's uh, let's see where this goes. All right. You approach the hideout. The looters don't appear to have spotted you yet, and you could still sneak away unnoticed. The difficult approach to the site, down a narrow defile, means that the only handful of troops in your party that will be able to join the attack, and they will be unable to bring their horses. If your initial attack fails, the looters will easily be able to make their escape and disperse. Do you wish to attack the hideout or wait for another occasion? Nah. Let's go for it. We're here right now. I just, I just, he just looks like an absolute hoodlum, you know? Lance Thunderjaw looks like a man who is up to no good. And that's because he largely isn't up to any good. Oh, there we go. Can't get a clean shot. Oh! Missed him. Hang on. Occupy him. Ah, oh, do you know what? No. Let's just get on in there. Alright, there's one down. 
think he's throwing rocks at us. No, oh, swing and a miss. My aim is gonna need much, much practice. Stabbed him in the back like a real hero. I've improved proficiency but one-handed. Ah, oh, there's another guy over there. Now, I reckon I'll only play this game when I'm recording it if you're interested in seeing more because I'm kind of curious to see where this adventure takes us. But uh, off screen, I'll probably do things like... Um, I'll probably do things like uh, just like you're know, grinding up the troops and getting getting the crew in order. I think it's just that one man left. He's probably thinking, huh, heard lots of screaming coming from over there. But I'm sure the guys are all right. They're just roughhousing, just goofs and gags. Just boys will be boys. <laughs> Poor fella. Is that? <laughs> I was actually ready to murder him. <laughs> Just kind of gave in to the bloodlust. Merchant's brother, thank you. Thank you, sir, for rescuing me from those fiends. Did my brother and Praven uh, send you Lance Thunderjaw? Yes, I told him that I would find you. I advise you return to your family as quickly as you can and be careful on the road. With the retreat cut off, the looters fall one by one to your determined attack. Their hideout and their ill-gotten gains are now yours. Boom. I feel like that shield is probably better than mine, is it? One-handed shield, batter roll. I don't know what the stat is for a shield. Is it just... Well, we take all their stuff anyway, for definite. Otherwise, it's just gonna sit there and rust, you know? I mean, that's the... To the victor goes the spoils. That's, a. Uh... I wonder if Asgard has any more recruits. No. Oh, what's going on at the bottom? Garmel Noyen has... Renounced his allegiance to the kingdom of Rodox, <laughs> to the kingdom of Reebok, and joined the Kirkt Kanat. Kanat. I am sorry for mispronouncing all of that. Whatever language this is in, wherever those local place names are from, I just did it a great disservice, and I apologize. Alright, we visit the tavern. He seems to know what he's about. Watchman. Oh, he looks like a... He, he's murdered some people. He's seen some things. He's murdered people, went to prison, and then murdered people in prison. In fact, he got out of prison by murdering his way out of prison. It's kind of like a full... He came full circle, really, didn't he? He murdered his way into prison, then he murdered his way back out of prison. This is a man whose life he's most intimately acquainted with death. Do you have any need for mercenaries, sir? Me and four of my mates are looking for a master. We'll join you for 235 denarius. All right, but I can only hire three of you. Here. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That would be my entire purse empty. Then the rest of the guys would just stab me out of disappointment. Well, my brother's home safe, but I'm not sure what to do with him. Maybe you pack him off to the university outside Calradia. That way, if he gets knocked out, uh, gets knocked on the head in a street brawl, no way, like, well, no, that. No one can say it's my fault. But that's not your problem. Here's the rest of your reward. It's well earned. I love that he said he'd send him to university. He makes it sound like he's sending him off to a nunnery, you know? Like he's going to be completely out of trouble. Lance Thunderjaw, the money is most welcome, and I'm glad to have been of service. Good. Now, are you interested in making some more? Possibly. What do you need? I'm getting... <laughs> I don't know, there's something about the merchant. He's like, here, come into my house. Want to earn some money? And then, fair enough, he had an actual job. And then afterwards, when the job was done, he's like, hey, you, uh, you want to earn a bit more money? I'm like, stop looking at me that way, undressing me with your eyes. Also, he's not a prominent merchant of Praven. He's just merchant of Praven. Definitely lied. Anyways, Merchant of Praven, remember how I told you that the bandits had an ally inside the walls? I think I know who it is, the Captain of the Watch, no less. Some months ago, this captain, seeing the amount of profit we merchants were making from trade across the frontiers, decided to borrow some money to sponsor a caravan. Unfortunately, like many who are new to commerce, he failed to realize that with that great profit only comes with great risk. So he sank all of his money into the most expensive commodities, and of course, his caravan was captured and looted, and he lost everything. Of course, because that's what happens when you invest in anything. It's... It's just part of life. We've all been there. As a consequence, it seems our captain turned to villainy to regroup his fortune. I suppose I'd do the same if, the heavens forbid, I ever faced indebtedness and ruination. <laughs> that's a bit That's a bit of an extreme flip. Oh well, I lost some money there. Guess I gotta turn to murdering my neighbours. Now any watch captain worth his salary will have a few thieves and robbers on his payroll to inform the rest. 
But our captain decides to employ these bastards wholesale. He brings them into town, lets them do as they will, and takes a share of their take. You've heard of poachers turning gamekeepers? Well, in the unfortunate land of Calradia, sometimes gameskeepers will turn poacher. Luckily, there are still a few brave, honest souls on the watch who've told me how he works. Now, here's my plan. I could bring this to the attention of the king, King Harlaus, King Harlau? Lord of the city, but that would mean an inquiry. My word against the captains and witnesses can be bought and evidence destroyed. Or maybe the whole thing will be forgotten if the enemy comes across the border again and all I get from my trouble is a knife in the ribs. That's how you do it. Is it between the second and third rib or something? Just chip them. Quickest way to the heart. In time of war, you see a king's eye wanders far from his domain and his subjects suffer. So I've got another idea. I've got a small group of townsfolk together, some men in my employ and some others who've lost relatives to the bandits, and we'll storm the captain's home and bring him in chains before the king. Hopefully with a few captured bandits to explain how things stack up. I love that he said that officially bringing this to the king's attention and needing to bring evidence could be problematic. But ambushing the city watch captain on a hunch <laughs> without any real hard evidence to prove it, possibly killing him and definitely killing a bunch of other people in the process, that would probably go down okay. The thing is, I'm on board. I'm okay with this. All I need now is someone to lead my little army into battle and I can't think of anyone better than you, so what do you say? Well, you just met me and you know nothing about me, and how do I know you're telling me the truth? Oh well, I suppose it's possible that I found a dozen bandits who were willing to give their lives to give a passing stranger a false impression of life in Old Praven. Well, I guess you can't really know if my word is good, but I reckon you've learned by now that my money is good and there's another 100 dinars, or maybe a bit more, that's waiting for you if you'll do this last little favour. So what do you say? I kind of feel like I'm being bought and I'm okay with that. Splendid! It's been a long time since I've st stalked, since I've staked so much on a single throw of the dice, and frankly I find it exhilarating. My men are ready to move at, at your word. Are you ready? It's not a single throw of the dice. There's a lot of variables. There's, if you treat every man as dice, there's a lot of dice on the table. Good. Now strike hard, strike fast, and the captain and his henchmen won't know what hit them. May the heavens be with you. Alright, you leave the tavern, you go down to the streets, nervous looking, young men are waiting in every street corner. You can see that they have daggers and clubs concealed under their clothes, and catch a mixture of fear, anticipation, and pride in the quick looks that they throw at you as you pass by. Praying that your enemies have not been alarmed by this all too obvious bunch of plotters, you check your weapons for one last time and prepare yourself for the action ahead. I'm hearing a dog barking and I can't help but feel like he's in on this. It's time lads, up and at them! All right, where are the bad guys? I'm kind of panicking. Get my shield out. Um, hang on, I'm hearing lots of screaming, and I think I just heard the sound of a woman getting murdered <laughs> in the crossfire. But who's? Oh, there we go. There's an action. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I love this badass. Did he kill her? No, he didn't. She's a beast. <laughs> She's more man than the actual men in this fight. She's running in barehanded to pummel this shit. Look at how bloody her fists are from punching men straight in the face. She's my hero. She needs to join the Lad's Thunderjaws quickly. Right in the gut. <laughs> Oh no! Oh. Guess she's not joining my crew, but she has been avenged. That woman was legendary. She is genuinely my hero. She is everything Lance Thunderjaw is now going to strive to be. A woman. <laughs> a woman pugilist. Pugilist? Pugilist. A female pugilist. That is what Lance Thunderjaw will be at the end. The remaining few bandits scatter off to the town's narrow alleys, only to be hunted down one by one by the angry town folk. They need to avenge that woman. She was a beast. Making sure that your victory is complete and all the wounded have been taken care of, I choose to believe she was just wounded and that she's alive. You and the merchant head to the house to review the day's events. Again, he's bringing me back to his house. This is ultimately going to end badly for me. Ha, well done. I saw at least three of the enemy go down before you. Keep fighting like that and you'll make quite a name for yourself in this land. Unfortunately, about nine of my lads got themselves wounded. I should go and look at them. You don't say about nine, you know? Approximately exactly nine of my men got themselves hurt. Let every villain learn to fear the name Lance Thunderjaw. Let them learn to fear the unicorn. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> completely dismissive. Yes, yes, that's adorable. Your shield has a unicorn with a dildo on its head. 
Now, a couple of my boys have the watch captain pinned down in the back room with a knife to his throat because that's a reliable confession. I'll need to go and drag him before the king and explain what this breach of the peace is all about. You don't need to be a part of that though. I'll tell you what, if all goes well, I'll meet you in the tavern again shortly and let you know how it all came out. If you don't see me in the tavern, but instead see my head on a spike over the city gate, I'll assume you know enough to stay away from town for a while and forget the whole episode ever happened. So, hopefully, we'll meet again. You just made yourself a really shaky deal. But he did pay me, so I'm happy. He's a good guy. Alright, all you handsome bastards and classy ladies, we're going to leave it at that for now. If you do want to see more of the adventures of Lance Thunderjaw, I'm actually really looking forward to seeing where this game goes, because, I mean, the mechanics are really shaky and, and dated and stuff, and it's not the prettiest bell of the ball. But I'm kind of loving it so far. So if you want to see more, you know what to do. Click that like button. I am hoping to settle into more of a regular upload routine as well from now on, where I sit down for maybe two or three nights a week. And I actually, even if it's a half an hour or an hour, just record some stuff and then get that uploaded for you. So, um, and I'm hoping to kick that off pretty much from this week on. So, if you do want to see more of this, do let me know. If you have another, another game in mind, let me know. Because, like I said, I'm kind of bouncing between games. I was going to get Days Gone, but I saw the disappointing reviews that I got. And I kind of had that feeling about it myself. I'm still toying with the idea of getting it, but I haven't really decided yet. So, if you have any suggestions, let me know. In the meantime, I will see you all in my next video.